Congratulations! You've decided to bring a new member into your family, a pet bird. Parrots are wonderful and intelligent animals, and with the right start, they will become an endearing addition to the family for years to come. The parrot family includes parakeets, cockatiels, conyers, as well as the larger Amazons, macaws, and cockatoos. You selected your parrot's ideal habitat, and now you're ready to learn more about how to keep you and your new feathered companion happy and healthy. Hi, my name is Dr. Susan Club. My name is Michelle Goodman. And my name is Barbara Heidenreich. And we're here to help. Let's get started with some important facts, useful tips, and a few fun tricks. Providing proper nutrition is a key to a healthy pet bird. There are many nutritious diets on the market, such as KT Exact or KT Fiesta. Formulated diets, also known as pelleted or extruded diets, are a premium way to take the guesswork out of providing balanced nutrition. Variety is the spice of life, so if feeding a formulated diet, please supplement your bird's diet with fresh fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts appropriate to their size and species. Be careful not to overfeed. This is a common problem. Feed the amount that your bird consumes in a day. Overfeeding can lead to waste and him or her picking out their favorite items from the menu versus eating everything for a balanced meal. Feeding a pelleted or extruded diet eliminates the ability to pick and choose favorite items as the entire entree contains the same nutrition. But when feeding a primarily seed-based diet, you need to be extra careful not to overfeed. Find out what your bird was eating in his previous home. If he was fed a primarily seed-based diet, you may have to gradually convert him to a pelleted diet. Some birds do not recognize pellets as food at first. Visit KT.com for tips on how to convert your parrot to a pelleted diet. Always provide fresh water, especially if your bird likes to soak his food in water. For birds that enjoy this, their water becomes contaminated quickly and may need to be changed more often than once daily. Alternatively, you can use a water bottle to keep the water clean and fresh. Be sure to change the water daily and to clean the water bottle on a regular basis to avoid bacterial growth. There are many aspects to caring for your new pet bird. You will want to provide for his physical and mental health. It's important to have your new pet examined by an avian veterinarian to ensure you're bringing home a healthy bird. In fact, it's best to bring him to the vet within the first few days of having him home. It's important to establish a relationship with an avian veterinarian prior to your bird becoming ill. Ask the breeder or pet shop for a referral or ask local bird people. Or you could visit the Association of Avian Veterinarians website to find your local avian vet. It will be most helpful for your veterinarian if she knows the history of your bird before he becomes ill. Annual vet visits will help to keep your bird healthy and aid in catching any possible problems early. You can expect to have routine visits to the veterinarian to keep your bird's nails trimmed, just the same as you would for your pet dog or cat. It's a good habit to weigh your parrot a couple of times a month and document his weight patterns. You should also monitor your parrot's droppings. This will provide important information for you and your veterinarian if you ever have a medical issue. Parrots can carry diseases that can infect other birds in the household and possibly humans, especially a person with a compromised immune system. In the new bird exam, your veterinarian will check for diseases. Keep your new bird away from any other birds in the household until the test results are back and your vet gives you the all clear. The veterinary exam can be scary, but if you prepare for your bird's medical care by training them to enjoy a towel, step onto a scale, and present toes for nail trims, these tricks will make the exam much more pleasant for you and your bird. Teaching your bird to take fluid from a syringe will be very helpful if your bird needs medication. It's also wise to keep identity records such as leg band numbers, 
photos, microchip, and other important information in a safe place in the event your bird is lost or stolen. Feather health is also important. The best way to keep his plumage beautiful is by regular bathing. Some birds love to bathe in a shallow bowl of water. You can mist them with a spray bottle or gentle mister. If your bird is fearful of the spray bottle, look for ways to make it more enjoyable. Many birds enjoy showering with you using a shower perch. Your bird should be bathed several times a week. About two or three times is ideal. Being prepared for simple emergencies can not only reduce your stress, but may be life-saving for your bird. Have an emergency first aid kit on hand and instructions on how to use it. This can also help you to avoid expensive emergency vet visits. In some parrot species, it's hard, if not impossible, to identify the sex visually. If you have a preference of gender, DNA testing using a drop of blood can determine the sex. Knowing the gender of your bird can help you to understand its behavior and to provide life-saving information for your veterinarian in case of illness. It's important to parrot-proof your home to keep everyone healthy and happy. There are many household dangers. We recommend you become familiar with all of them. Some of the most common dangers are self-cleaning ovens, Teflon pans, lead wick candles, cleaning chemicals, metal if ingested, plug-in air fresheners, and some plants. Dangers can come in a different way for flighted birds, such as flying through an open window or door, or even flying into a closed window. Ceiling fans, toilets, or pots on the stove can also be very dangerous for a flighted bird. Other pets in your home can also be dangerous for your new companion. Take time to slowly introduce them and always supervise interactions. It may be necessary to keep them separated if you feel they're not bonding. Parrot-proof your house, especially for birds with untrimmed wings. This means making sure items you don't want chewed are hidden until the bird learns which perches earn him rewards. Cover windows and mirrors or place stickers on them to prevent birds from flying into them. You can also make them temporarily opaque with bar soap. This can all slowly return back to normal as a bird learns his designated perches. Your bird can be super fun or a big problem depending on your choices. I highly recommend you get familiar with positive reinforcement training and how it can benefit your relationship with your parrot and other pets. Is that fun? <laughs> Keep in mind your parrot's behavior will be shaped by what you do. Start training your new parrot right away to avoid potential behavior problems and to begin your relationship based on trust. However, also be aware your bird may need a few days to settle into his new environment before he's ready to interact. Identify the amount of time that you'll be able to spend with your parrot daily for the rest of your bird's life. Try to implement and maintain this schedule as you're getting to know your bird. Start by gathering information on how to train the following behaviors. targeting stepping up and stepping down, going back into the cage, stepping up onto new people, entering a travel cage, and introducing and interacting with new toys. If the bird acquired will be a young, recently weaned bird, plan on devoting some time to initial training that will be beneficial throughout the bird's lifetime. Just like training a puppy, there's a window of opportunity that's important to take advantage of before the bird matures. Young parrots are more receptive to new experiences during this time. You can often easily get important behaviors started during this window of development. Great behaviors to work on while your bird is still young include the following. Nail trimming, towel restraint, scale training, meeting new people, and spending time in new environments. You'll also want to be aware of some of the more common parrot behavior problems and how to avoid creating those problems. This may include fear responses, aggressive behavior, excessive vocalizations, and bonding to one person. Research what to do if a bird develops a behavior problem or comes to you with one already in place. The good news is, is that most parrot behavior problems are often easily prevented and modified. 
Some things you can do to help prevent behavior problems include teaching your bird how to play independently, avoiding doing things that create aggressive behavior, pairing positive reinforcers with new people and experiences, teaching your bird that doing things you ask results in treats and rewards, and avoiding responding to undesired behaviors such as vocalizing for attention. Instead, focus on reinforcing another acceptable behavior. Can you sing? If your new bird is flighted, create house rules that include no open doors or windows when the bird is out. You'll also want to train your flighted bird to do the following behaviors. Recall, fly to a perch on cue, fly angles, fly around corners, and fly longer distances. It's recommended you learn how to evaluate your bird's flight skills. You'll also discover that some birds are not easily trained for flight, especially those that were trimmed during fledging. You'll also want to learn what to do if your bird were to escape. It's better to have the information on hand before an accident happens. This is important whether your bird is flighted or not. Even a clipped bird can accidentally escape. Here are a few more tips to help you train your parrot. Try to add small changes to your bird's life on a regular basis. This will help create a bird that's adaptable to change. Identify and provide the appropriate diet and training treats. You'll also want to determine the appropriate amount of food to offer your bird to keep him at a healthy weight. Save his treats for training only. Learn the appropriate way to touch a parrot and also how most parrots prefer to be touched so that it's fun for both you and your pet. Instead of stroking a parrot from his head to his tail, most parrots enjoy the feathers on the head to be stroked towards the beak. A parrot who is enjoying this experience will fluff all of his head feathers in response to touch. Acquire a transport container and train your bird to enjoy it by making short trips a normal part of life. Prepare for your bird's medical care by training him to enjoy a towel, step onto a scale, present toes for nail trims, and take fluid from a syringe. Training your parrot teaches him to be well-behaved, cooperative in your day-to-day -day interactions, a willing participant in his health care, and most of all, a fun animal companion. <gasps> it's oh, a no, 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 no. Oh, la, 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 la. You can learn more about training your parrot at goodbirdinc.com. Keeping your bird mentally healthy means providing stimulating enrichment. This means providing a variety of toys, but not just any toy. Spend some time finding out what type of toys your bird likes best. Some birds like soft items to preen. Other birds like toys they can destroy, such as wood or other destructible materials, and some like things they can hold, such as a foot toy. Take the time to find out what is most appealing to your bird and keep a supply of toys on hand. Variety is the spice of life. You'll want to rotate toys in and out every few weeks to keep your parrot interested. This will also keep your bird happy. Foraging toys are a great way to offer treats and dietary supplements. In the wild, foraging makes up a large part of a parrot's day. Why not provide it at home? There are many foraging toys to choose from on the market today. Perches, ropes, and swings are another way to provide enrichment. A variety of perches at different heights and widths, along with ropes or swings that create movement, will keep your parrot entertained. The variety in sizing will help keep your bird's feet in good condition because it prevents wear on the same pressure points. Check out the line of great toys, perches, and swings from Super Pet. Here are a few additional enrichment tips. Learn about safety issues to be aware of with enrichment, such as loose threads, lengthy chains, pinch points, or tangling possibilities. Establish other perches or play stands around the house for the bird. Make them very desirable by reinforcing birds for being there with toys, treats, and attention. 
Exercise can be enriching too. Explore ways your bird will be able to exercise and be active. Different forms of exercise could include flight, climbing, play, and through interactions with his human companions. Parrots have a slightly tarnished reputation for being messy, but by following these tips it may help you contain, if not eliminate, some of that untidiness. Parrots naturally create dust and dander. They can't help it. Each feather has a keratin sheath, which is what birds preen off as it grows. This will create some dust. Also some species, such as African greys and cockatoos, have special dust producing feathers, which clean and condition the feathers. Again, it's natural and part of who they are. This keeps them healthy and beautiful. An air purifier can help with both concerns. And the best way to conquer both is by spending 10 to 15 minutes daily cleaning the area in and around the habitat. It helps keep the task small and manageable. Dander and dust is also kept under control by making sure to bathe your parrot regularly. Parrots often enjoy being spritzed with water from a spray bottle or misted gently from above hopping into a shallow pan of water, and some birds actually enjoy joining their owners in the shower. It's normal for parrots to poop frequently throughout the day. Some ways to manage this mess is to place washable throw rugs or disposable pet pads to catch some of the mess, or to train him to stay on certain perches which are outfitted for catching the droppings. Parrots will sometimes spread their food around while searching for their favorites. This can be controlled in a few ways. One is by providing an appropriate portion. You can also place the bowl in the habitat for 30 to 60 minutes in the morning and again in the afternoon. This allows your bird time to eat, but not time to dig through the bowl tossing aside the unwanted. You may also place the food bowls lower in the cage or apply a skirt around the enclosure to help contain items inside the habitat. Again, a quick 10 to 15 minute cleaning of the habitat is another great way to help keep up and provide an immaculate home for your feathered companion. Parrots also enjoy chewing and shredding. It's a natural behavior. A parrot who does not have access to interesting toys may chew on objects in the home such as window sills and wood trim to satisfy this need. To ensure your parrot uses his beak to destroy acceptable objects, make sure you provide plenty of destructible parrot toys. Rotate them frequently to keep your parrot interested. Provide toys on play stands, perches, or other designated areas to contain any pieces that may drop. Sharing your life with a companion parrot or other pet bird can be very rewarding. Especially when you're well informed and prepared for what to expect. We hope this video helps you and your parrot enjoy a wonderful life together. Visit KT.com to learn more about caring for your new feathered friend.